my life before I come to the United States, it was just like any other kid. Weekends, I go to the farm, hang out with my father, with our father, <laughs> and during the week, go to school, train Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays with Hollis over in uh, Figueiredo Magalhães. Sometimes I'll go with Helson, train with Helson in the Ilha, Ilha do Governador. When I first came to America, it was more like uh, to babysit Hollis kids. <laughs> It was, I didn't speak the language and didn't know where to go, but I was always open to adventure. One of my favorite things to do it was wait for Horion because I knew something was going to happen. So I was up to something. Something was going to happen when he was around. Teaching classes back in the garage it was the beginning of a seed the Horion plant in the United States. What happens in Brazil, the world don't know. Once America found out, the whole world found out. After about nine years in America, teaching the garage with Horion, and when I was, we had some challenges back in the garage days, but it wasn't exactly a fight, it was more to convince the opponent to become a student and always try to prove myself. I want to do what my family has been doing. And when my father and Horton gave me the, the okay, you're the one that's going to be fighting, representing Grace Jiu-Jitsu on, on the UFC, I was like, that was the, the, the break that I was waiting for. My preparation for the UFC was is still today the same. The Gracie diet, the same training, the same jiu-jitsu, the same training, teaching classes. It wasn't anything different or... No, it was just doing what I know. I live a life of a professional athlete to get mentally ready to a fight or to any sport. You have to know what you're doing. Once you know, it's easy. What I remember my father always said was, do not lose. Don't fight to win. Fight not to lose. If you don't lose, the question is how are you going to beat him? In the first UFC, as far as I remember, I tuned everybody out. Tuned everything out. It's a, just listen to my brothers and to my father, my corners. That's it. During the fight, all my fights, it's, I never really thought about anything. There's no time to think. It's just automatic pilot takes off, takes over. UFC 2, Pat Smith, we were on separate sides of the bracket. So every time I walk out, he cheers me on. He cheers me on, yeah, go Gracie, go, go, go. Cheer me on when I walk by the, on the hall the whole way before I get in the cage, until the finals. It was him and I. And then he suddenly got quiet. I passed by him, I look at him, <laughs> he was quiet. I would do all over again, exactly the same, wouldn't change a thing. Life is good in my world.